All right, welcome. So at the minute, we're obviously not able to drive because of the pandemic, unless we're doing an essential trip, like going to get our weekly shopping. So today's Tesla video, we're going to get our weekly shopping. And to make it interesting, we're going to uh, use autopilot for as much of the journey as possible and, and kind of turn it into a little bit of a challenge. Also, when we get to traffic lights, Becky and I will play the green green game where I say when it turns green in real life and Becky says when it turns green on the Tesla. So it's only a five minute drive to Tesco's. So it'll be interesting to see how the car gets on, how much autopilot we're able to use because autopilot isn't really for these kind of roads at the minute but it does still kind of work sometimes so but you have to take over quite a lot so there we go tesco's it says that we will get there with 61 percent remaining we currently have 61 percent charge that's because they're all 30 roads so we don't go above 30 miles an hour so it barely uses any charge all right let's give it a go so the first thing we're going to do is reverse out of this little space and then get out of here so a nice bonus of having an electric vehicle during a pandemic like this one where you're trying to limit, you know, how much contact you could potentially come with the virus. Hey <laughs> <laughs> A nice bonus is the fact that you can charge at home because one of the biggest places that the virus and bacteria can spread are petrol station pumps because of everyone's grubby little mitts grabbing hold of them all the time. But obviously we're able to just charge from our garage and we're not doing any long journeys at the minute so we don't need to use any supercharges. All right, let's turn autopilot on as soon as the little fella pops up. He did not pop up. He got scared by the wiggly lines in the traffic lights, I think, but he should pop up. Now, we are in autopilot. So this is a 30 road. Obviously it's very quiet because everyone's social distancing and staying in home, which you should also do by the way. There are some traffic lights up ahead, which are on red. There's also a person crossing the road, but I reckon they'll be out of the way before autopilot needs to do anything. So autopilot does not stop at traffic lights, but it can see them now, thanks to a recent update. So what I'm gonna do, because there is absolutely no one behind us, I'm just gonna limit the speed and let's find out which lane it puts us in. We need to be in the left lane, but it looks like it's pushed us towards the right lane. So I'm just gonna to have to move myself over and now take over. All right, so green. Nothing. <laughs> It only uses the front camera for the traffic lights at the moment. So if you're parked right at the front of the traffic lights, I don't think that the camera that's there can see the traffic lights, but it could see that there was a traffic light that was green over in the distance. Okay, we've just been reduced to 20 miles an hour instead of 30. So it just automatically made that decision itself. And there are speed bumps on this road, so that is really, really handy. You can see the traffic lights right there showing up really, really well as well. And they actually remained green more or less the whole time. So we're just nice and easy, just stuck at 20, respecting the speed limit in this area. And now it's speeding back up to 30. It did that very nicely, to be fair. I I'm, I'm pretty impressed with that. I thought that when the speed limit changed, I thought that I had to click and update it, but I guess not. Right, we've got another set of traffic lights here. Which lane's it putting me in? It doesn't oh. quite know. It's put me in the, in this lane. What is that? How is that BMW parked? <laughs> okay, when it turns green, I'm gonna say green in real life. And when it turns green on the map, Becky's gonna say green. We can't get any further forward because of this dreadful parking from the BMW. It's also showing the arrows quite nicely. Green, no, green. Green. <laughs> <laughs> What happened there? I couldn't quite see. <laughs> I feel like we both let the side down there, I'm not gonna lie. Next time, next yeah, time, I on mean, the way back. <laughs> that is all the traffic lights, so we've, we've both let ourselves down there. I shouted green prematurely. Becky didn't shout green at all. Really, we let each other I think down. I said good. You did say good. Okay, so I'm gonna turn autopilot on here, but you can see there's built up cars on both sides of the road, and it is not ready for this kind of thing at all. Basically, what I found on these kind of roads where there's cars parked on the side, is autopilot either just stops for a parked car which he thinks is in the middle of the road or he just attempts to drive straight into the car so i'm being very cautious here and i'm just probably going to do the remainder of this journey myself there's also no lanes on this stretch of the road so even if i wanted to turn autopilot on i couldn't okay i can turn autopilot back on so it's on i'm going to lower the speed there's a blue car up ahead and Oh, this car's letting me out, so I'm just going to take over. But I don't think the car would have handled that. There is a car right behind me now, so I don't really want to mess with autopilot too much. The position of this car here, autopilot would just stop right behind it, and I would have to take over before I did anything. We'll wait for this car to get past, and then we should pull out. Oh, we see lots of bins. Very nice. I like the bins, I like the traffic lights. Apparently I can turn autopilot on, so let's just go for it and we'll see what happens. So it's accelerating to get up to 30 because I was going at about 24. Uh, what's it gonna do here? Yeah, so it's decelerating, as you can see. It, it Basically it would have just come to a complete stop behind this red Citroen. So we should just pull out. 
We saw the cyclist, very nice. And we are now at Tesco's. We're very fortunate that we don't have to go into that petrol station and risk contaminating ourselves. Okay, how long is the queue gonna be at Tesco's? So everyone's social distancing at the minute and basically they're limiting how many people can go into the store at once. So everyone just has to queue outside in a line two meters apart from each other. It's a very surreal thing, but it makes a big difference in, in limiting kind of the spread of the virus, which is great. So some road markings coming up. So let's just see how the car sees them. Very Ooh. nice, look at that, perfect. Everyone is queuing. The corns show up beautifully on the map as well, as do the signs. Apparently it thinks it's a bin there. I'm not quite sure what that is. Do you see the bin, Becky? There is definitely no bin there. there. I think no it's the bin. lamp post. I wonder why it thinks it's a bin. What about this road marking? Oh, that shows a nice little arrow, the correct one. Beautiful. All right. Is there anybody behind? No, there isn't. So I'm going to try and park into that little space. I'm not going to use auto park because I still stand by auto park being pretty rubbish. There is a car coming, they are waiting very nicely for me. So we should be able to just slot nicely into here. And there we go. Um, now I won't lie, I have not parked particularly well. So I think I shall adjust myself ever so slightly. All right, there we go. This is the one, this is the one. Yep, 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 yep. There it is, there it is, very nice. Watch the pole. <laughs> I wish my car could do that. <laughs> Put it into park. Easy entry. Got all the leg room I need to get out. And we are now at Tesco's. Fantastic. We've got our hand sanitizer for when we get back. We're going to stay two meters apart from everyone. Hopefully we can get some toilet rollers. We are running low now. I think we're down to like three at this point, Becky. Give it another week and we could be in a lot of trouble. So let's hopefully go grab everything we need. And we shall record our journey back as well. Oh, well, okay, no problem. We didn't realize they've now limited it to just one person in the shop rather than both of you going around together because it wasn't like that a couple of weeks ago. But that's fair enough. It's a more productive use of our time for one of us to just come back later rather than us both queue and getting all work done. So let's nip home. And I'm also wearing a hat now. Very exciting. So once again, I'm going to try and use autopilot for as much of the journey as possible because you saw on that last half of the journey, I basically couldn't use it at all. But I'm going to go a different route back, same length of time where I reckon we'll be able to use a lot more autopilot. So we're going to go right instead of left and we can pull straight out autopilot wouldn't work here because of all these parked cars but once we get through these green traffic lights we should be able to just engage it straight away so wait for it to pop up there it is turned on autopilot and I reckon I'll be able to use autopilot for most of this journey okay these traffic lights are on green we need to go straight across it's shoved us into the right lane so I'm just gonna slow down and take over it's weird how cars drive on the left in the UK, but almost every time autopilot tries to shove you into the right lane when there's a choice of two. You'd think they'd just program left to be the default if they were selling a car to a UK customer. So if I was to have a Tesla Model X or a Tesla Model S, they have this thing called bio defense mode, which apparently filters out 99.7% of pollution and viruses like this one from the air that's coming into the car. Tesla Model 3 doesn't have that, no problem, that's fine. All right, I've turned on autopilot. There is a van right behind us, unfortunately, so I will have to take over if anything comes up. There's a traffic cone up ahead. Let's see how long it takes for the traffic cone to pop up on the screen. Wait for it, wait for it. Where's the traffic cone? There he is. You can always rely on a traffic cone to pop up. Okay, we're gonna go around this corner very nicely. There we go. We've got some traffic lights that are on red up ahead. Oh, and we've also got a cyclist. So I'm interested to see what the car does with the cyclist. I'm very ready to take over because of this. Okay, the car slowed us down there um, because of that guy in front. He's not stopping for the traffic light. He, the He's rogue. He's gone He's straight rogue. through the traffic lights. <laughs> okay. Take a look at him on the map though. Look how good he looks. So if I turn autopilot on, what's it doing? Oh, yeah, it's stopping for him, it's stopping for him, and I'm gonna take over because I don't want to do anything too dangerous. I did want to just make sure that it would actually stop for him because, uh... <laughs> that would not be a great ending to this video if we did just kill an elderly pedestrian on a bike. This is our last opportunity to turn autopilot on. There it is. So it's gonna get us nice and up to the speed limit. 
So we are on 30 and we are now returning with 59%. So this trip has used up 2% of our charge, which isn't too bad. Okay, to end off this video, we're just gonna find ourselves a wheelie bin because I like when we see the wheelie bins. I'm hoping there's still a large collection of wheelie bins around this corner so that we can see them on our map. Wheelie bins? Oh, there's two, there's two. They're, they're, they're far back on the road though, so they might not show up. But he is hoping. Obviously, we don't want to be long. We just want to see oh, if we can quickly see them. Are. Oh, that's the dream. That's the absolute dream. Oh, they've gone. They've gone because I slowed them. We saw our wheelie bins. There's also three over there. God, it really is good at showing bins. I don't know why they made bins such a crucial thing to show up on the map. I understand cars and traffic cones, traffic lights. Bins seems like a bit of an odd one and it's weirdly accurate as well. I don't know how the car is able to see bins from that far away. Anyway, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. We've got so many fun ideas, but unfortunately we're just not able to do any of them right now because of the lockdown. So hopefully you enjoyed watching us go to Tesco's. We are going to continue to try and upload twice a week though, but obviously if we do miss a day, then I'm sure you can understand why that might be due to the nature of this channel and due to what's going on in the world. Thank you very much for watching. Please do click that subscribe button if you enjoyed these videos and you want to see more Tesla Model 3 stuff. If you've got any creative ideas for things that we can do with the car without going anywhere, please let me know in the comments. Wash your hands and I'll see you later.